DA Fonnie Willis, the elected DA prosecuting Donald Trump and his cronies. Well, she has to testify according to Judge McAfee. Let's put up the picture for mass. I will give you the background, the details, and the why. Fulton County Judge has ruled that a full evidentiary hearing, this means they will present actual evidence, is determined proper and now scheduled to discuss whether Fulton County DA, Bonnie Willis, and others will be disqualified from the Georgia election interference case. That is scheduled once again for the 15th of this month. Quote, I think it's clear that disqualification can occur according to the judge. Um, I think it's clear that disqualification can occur if evidence is produced demonstrating an actual conflict or the appearance of one. Um, let's put them up, Judge McAfee, Fulton County Superior Court, Scott, uh, Judge Scott McAfee stated, uh, Michael Roman, one of former President Trump's co-defendants, um, filed a motion early in January seeking to disqualify Willis and her office due to an alleged romantic relationship between Willis and Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. Now, uh, McAfee stated, quote, it alleges a personal relationship that resulted in a personal benefit to the district attorney, and that is no longer a matter of speculation. The state has admitted a relationship existed. So what remains to be proven is the existence and extent of any financial benefit. I want to explain something to you. Once again, the defense got whiff of a rumor, filed a motion on the last day that you can file a pretrial motion. Motions must be substantiated with one of three things, statement of fact, statement of law, or statement of constitutionality. And how it adversely impacts the rights of your client. They had no statement of fact, they admitted there was no evidence. They had no statement of law, they do not proclaim that any law was violated. They have no statement of constitutionality, which means there's nothing that would actually harm the defendant if in fact there was a personal relationship. Now, is this a distraction? Of course it is. It's a self-inflicted wound. On Glenwood Road, we would call it self-check. It didn't have to happen. But let me give you some of the other variables that are not mentioned. In order to believe the defense in their motion for disqualification, you would have to believe that DA Fonnie Willis hired Nathan Wade as the special prosecutor so that Nathan Wade can take her out to dinner. That's it. That's the financial benefit. Uh, there is no load of cash that has been transferred. There is no significant amount of um, you know, money that's in question here. It is about them going out on a date or two, a trip or two. Uh, it's not like they went to Dubai. Like Clarence Thomas, go big, go home kind of guy. All right, there's more. We definitely have a conflict in the evidence as to when this relationship started. Defense attorney Ashley Merchant, who is representing Roman, argued in court. We've got the date. We've got whether or not they cohabitated. We have whether or not there were any funds that he was paid that he used for travel with Miss Willis. End quote. Roman's defense attorney has subpoenaed DA Willis, Wade, and multiple employees in the DA's office. Now, this part is going to get messy, and I will explain. Multiple employees in the DA's office to testify during Thursday's evidentiary hearing, saying their testimony, along with that of Wade's business partner and friend, Terrence Bradley, who is that of Wade's business partner, uh, Terrence Bradley, who is also scheduled to testify. Will prove Willis and Wade lied about their relationship. Judge McAfee said during Monday's hearing that he would defer a decision on whether to honor or quash the subpoenas for the DA and other witnesses until after Bradley testifies. Uh, now, Fox 5 notes one thing the judge made clear was he would not spend time on Thursday's hearing about Wade's disqualification. McAfee said 
that as a district attorney, Willis can hire any lawyer with a heartbeat and a bar card. I want you to keep Mr. Wade's picture up. That's the part right there. The judge said, let me make it clear. This is not a hearing about the disqualification of Nathan Wade. Wait a minute. That's what the motion is about. That's what the entire brouhaha has been about. That's what the headlines have been about. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me that on day one, when myself and others said this cannot be about the disqualification of Mr. Wade, because the DA has the absolute authority to appoint who she chooses based upon qualification of them being an attorney was correct. The judge has said, yes, this cannot and will not be about the qualification of Mr. Wade. Willis can hire any lawyer, quote, with a heartbeat and a bar card, end quote. That is what the judge said. Last week, Willis filed a motion to quash the subpoenas, compelling her and staff to testify on the 15th of this month. She dismissed Roman's attempts to disqualify her and Mr. Wade as a salacious effort lacking evidence for their removal from the case. Once again, the motion should have one of three things, statement of fact, statement of law, or statement of constitutionality. Willis also refuted allegations that Wade was unqualified. Once again, she doesn't have to prove qualification. She refuted allegations that Wade was unqualified to serve as a prosecutor in the case, labeling them as factually inaccurate, unsupported, and malicious. The defense is not bringing you facts. Fulton County Prosecutor Anna Cross told the judge, quote, the defense is not bringing you law, the defense is bringing you gossip. And the state cannot and the court should not condone the practice. Willis contends that Roman's motion in an attempt to harass and disrupt the case without substantial grounds, and I agree. Roman's attorney issued subpoenas for the following individuals, put them up. This is the part where they, they are almost getting away with being more than messy. This is called messy as hell. She's the DA, she's been in that position for a few years. Like with any boss, you got some folk that probably don't particularly like you, okay? And she has made decisions on record where some of the prosecutors have echoed their dissent. District Attorney Fonda Willis is subpoenaed, of course. Executive District Attorney Daisha Young. Deputy District Attorney Sonia Allen. Deputy District Attorney Dexter Bond. Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade. Assistant Chief Investigator Michael Hill. Deputy Executive Assistant Teal Green. Chief of Investigations. Capers Green, Assistant Chief Investigator Thomas Rick, Thomas Ricks. What are they trying to do? They, they're trying to find some there there. Now, listen to my words as uh, I say this. They're trying to find financial issues unrelated to this case. If the judge allows anyone but Bradley to testify, if he allows the staff to take the stand, Watch the line of questioning, go into arenas that have nothing to do with this case. When they ask about other financial dynamics, budget of this, the spending of that, have not, that has nothing to do with her or Nathan Wade, there will be an objection, objection, your honor. Not relevant to the motion. And that's when the defense will say, your honor, it goes to a pattern of conduct, pattern of conduct here qualifies. Do you understand what they're trying to do? Additionally, Roman's attorney sought to subpoena the attorney who represented Wade in divorce proceedings. Whoa, what? Wait a minute. Now, damn it, judge, you, you got to stop this at some point. I mean, I've never been married, but if I get married and go through divorce, hopefully I don't. But if that happens, I don't want my attorney to be subpoenaed and what I shared with my attorney and confidence to become an issue in this circus we call a prosecution of a former president and his cronies. How do you subpoena an attorney to testify about a divorce? One attorney, client, privilege, 
must be absolute virtually. There's more. The attorney claims that a witness, Wade's former partner, Terrence Bradley, will provide insight, challenging, challenging Wade's assertion that the pair did not begin dating until 2022. Okay. Special Prosecutor Wade also filed motion to quash the subpoena, saying that the request for records is overly broad and a form of harassment and intimidation. Judge McAfee said he would defer his ruling on whether those subpoenaed by the defense would have to testify during the two-day trial, so they may be called to take the stand during the hearing. Listen, all right, cool. Um, let's go ahead and subpoena Michael Roman's mama. Let's go ahead and subpoena Michael Roman's private attorneys prior to him being charged with these crimes, evidence of pattern conduct. Let's go ahead and subpoena the individuals who were connected to Michael Roman prior to him being charged in the White House. They did not get charged, but they were part of the conversation. Let's go ahead and bring them in and they will possibly be indicted as co-conspirators. Damn it, you gotta stop playing by the rule book when the rule book has been thrown out the door. These are allowable circumstances, meaning you can do this. You can request it, judge can deny it. Obviously, the judge is being a little loose here, in my opinion, with the legal adjudication of this whole matter. There's more. Roman is facing seven charges. This is making the main thing the main thing. Roman is facing seven charges. Do we have Roman's picture? In connection with the DA office's investigation, allegations of interference in Georgia's 2020 presidential election, including a violation of Georgia RICO Act. Once, once again, main thing, main thing here. Conspiracy to impersonate a public officer, conspiracy to commit forgery in the first degree, and conspiracy to commit false statements in writing. His co-defendants, many of them have already um, admitted these things are true. They have pleaded guilty and they are on probation as we speak. See, he's the main thing. Now look at him. He's the guy, right? He's the reason we're here. This is to stop Fonnie Willis from ever getting to the prosecution of Donald Trump. That's what this is about. The judge has told you, I'm not even listening to conversations about disqualifying Nathan Wade. Wow. The entire motion was about disqualifying Nathan Wade. Judge said, not relevant. I can't listen to it because she has the absolute authority to appoint anyone with a pulse and a bar card. So what are we doing here? Divorce attorneys are being subpoenaed. Staff members inside of the DA's office are now under subpoena. The judge is allowing it. What if every defense attorney just started to subpoena Staff members of the DA's office hoping that they can substantiate a rumor, maybe a conversation, maybe something inappropriate was said via text message. Well, how about we just go ahead and get the text message? Let's get everybody's text messages while we're at it. Let's go ahead and get everybody's private and personal email. Let's see if they talked about this case in an inappropriate way. This is bad policy. Has Fonda Willis made a mistake here? I think she made a miscalculation, yes. I think it is an unforced error, yes. I could care less about who she has a consensual relationship with, especially when the stakes are this high. So while they will challenge based on technicalities, they want us to ignore the absolute truth. These individuals tried to overthrow democracy. They tried to take your country. They tried to hold on to power when power no longer wanted to hold on to them. They wanted to violate the very sentiment of your determination to be a self-determined country. You see, to me, that's a pretty big deal. And to me, I would never forget what they attempted to do. Let's put things in perspective, sharing thoughts. Yeah, perhaps, as you said, a miscalculation. Although I'll say this, and I mean it, that if she were a white man, I don't know that it, there'd be such a white hot spotlight on it, yeah. so to speak. You're right in the way you broke it down, Dr. Ritchie. If she has the right to hire anybody, who's qualified with a heartbeat, then what are we doing here? Maybe Judge McAfee should recuse himself and Cardi B can be the judge and we can get through all this messy nonsense. Because if it's a case about did you benefit, were you improperly 
enriched. We're talking about a few trips that I'm sure were lovely here, but you can get them on Costco. That's right. I've looked. You can get them on Costco. And and finally, let me say this. You only two people know when their relationship began. A man and woman can be friends. That's right. They can hang out. They can be best friends. That doesn't necessarily mean that you know, no matter what these people testify to. Mm -hmm. And we saw them together a lot. So what? We're friends. I was yep. talking about an old flame. Who knows? This is Cardi B, who I love esque. And she should put on a robe. Whatever she wants to put under it is fine. And she should perhaps adjudicate the rest of the case. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, based on like technical legal dynamics, I, I, I don't understand the rulings here. All right. I really don't. Okay. I will bring you updates as they come. Um, and it looks like you'll have a big one in about two days.